anthem. Yeah, I know, it's a little intense. Ferragamo on the collar, we gon' mash a throttle in Miami Harbor. Girl, you want me like a shatter. Make a move, make it matter. Good morning, everyone. I'm still in my same PJs. Um, obviously, I just woke up, but I wanted to say good morning. I'm making my normal breakfast that I always have, which is the eggs, three eggs with... Uh, I haven't had any caffeine, forgive me. Three eggs with shredded cheese, a whole avocado, jalapenos, and like two or three tablespoons of salsa, the salsa that I showed last week. So I'm just having that, and today I'm gonna get a really late night workout in um, because I have a photo shoot at six, and I have to leave my house at five. Um, and I have to start getting ready probably at like 3 30 because uh, it's a Halloween shoot So I have to do like Halloween makeup uh, Excuse me. So yeah, I'm about to watch some Desperate Housewives and Just chillax for the day um, I'm gonna be getting a new gym membership Soon, I don't know if I should go over there today Or tomorrow I'll probably go there tomorrow because the gym right now. I just don't feel motivated I have like a little funk like the gym's good for cardio just because it's so close to my house but like to get a good like heavy lifting badass workout in, I don't feel motivated. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm currently on the way to my photo shoot. It's obviously a Halloween shoot um, with right design here in Charlotte. Well, Kannapolis really. But anyways, so I feel like I probably should have done my makeup at the... Um, <laughs> at you know his studio because people are staring at me like I'm crazy which granted if I was driving and I saw someone next to me with like this type of makeup I would be kind of freaked out too so not freaked out but I would be like whoa but yeah so this is inspired by crispy um, of course and yeah we're gonna be doing two looks it's gonna be this like clown look I'm wearing like leather pants and a bodysuit and then we're gonna do a more like editorial skeleton look which I think will look super cool I got it off Pinterest so you guys will see the photos soon on my Instagram and then later I will be um, going to the gym oh and I have these contacts in from iris beauty uh, I did a review on them a while back but yeah traffic's getting bad I'll see you guys later hey everyone boo <laughs> um i just got done with my shoot this is the second look we did skull look um i never considered myself really good at special effects makeup like i think that i'm okay like i can do simple stuff like this um and like the look you saw you saw earlier but anyways i wanted to show you what i got i literally went into buffalo wild wings with this makeup uh, because I'm so hungry and I didn't, I just wasn't in the mood to um, cook when I got home. So, one second, please hold. Earlier, I ate the little stir fry stuff that I um, make with the shrimp that I showed in my last, last week's vlog. That's what I ate earlier before the shoot. So, I got a side salad. No! Why did they do this? With garlic bread I can't have that um, I'm going to pick off the croutons because I can't have that either look at me like putting it on my floor <laughs> I have to sweep anyways and mop and then I got the small size of the spicy garlic um, wings. Yay, with ranch. So that's gonna be my dinner. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I have to take this makeup off and head to the gym. So I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm about to go to bed and I wanted, I still have to brush my teeth and like take out my contacts, wash my face and all that. I just took off all that Halloween makeup um, with like some coconut oil. Um, anyways, so I did not go to the gym. I literally haven't been to the gym since like what, Friday, Thursday, I don't know. It's been a couple days. Um, I've made... I wanted to 
vlog every day um, for the next two weeks and last week, obviously, because I want to show you guys that, like, if I can do it, you can do it. Anything is possible. I want to be relatable. And, you know, there's going to be times where you don't want to go to the gym, you don't want to diet anymore, um, and you just are kind of in a rut, and it's totally fine because, like, that's where I am right now. Not really with my diet. Like, I've been pretty good with, I've always been good with my diets, like, ever since I started any diet. Like, ever since I started working out and, like, learning more about nutrition and stuff like that, I've been really good with, um, dieting, uh, well, obviously not, like, in the beginning, but I've, I've gotten really good, like, I, I have really good self-control and stuff like that, but right now I'm in a rut when it comes to the gym, and it's not like I just fell out of love with working out, it's not that at all, like, I love going to the gym, it's like my escape from everything, like, I go to the gym, I put my headphones on, and it's like, oh, you know, it's like a relief, um, it's more so, like, I just don't feel motivated, like, my gym, like, when I walk in there, I'm kind of like, ugh, like, I just feel like, you know, I'm at this gym, and I'm, uh, I don't even want to say the name of the gym, because I don't want to make it look bad, because it's not a bad gym at all, you know, but for me, like, I like walking into the gym and being like, oh, hell yeah, like, I'm about to get this workout, oh, yeah, you know, and I like going to, like, a really badass, like, bodybuilding, hardcore gym. Like, that's what I like. And at this gym, I just don't feel like that. Like, when I walk in, it's almost like I get, like, sad almost. I don't know what it is. Like, I just get in this weird mood where I don't want to work out and I don't want to do anything. And it's just weird, you know? Like, I get a weird feeling. I don't, I just don't want to work out there anymore. So, I'm going to cut this short because I obviously have, like, six more days to vlog. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to get a gym membership, another gym membership, because I'm still going to keep this one because it's, like, five minutes from my house, and I can still go there for cardio and stuff during the day. But um, I'm going to, like, a bodybuilding, like, hardcore gym tomorrow to get a another membership. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. Hello everyone, good morning, happy Tuesday. So today we're doing weigh-ins and a bikini check-in. Uh, I'm wearing the same bikini that I wore last week. This is only a week difference, so I'm obviously not going to be totally transformed. But I do think that there is some differences. Like I think I've gotten a little leaner and also the cardio helped too because I did do cardio like three or four times last week. Um, so yeah, so the cardio did help. Um, and also I've been eating good. So yeah, let me just go ahead and show you how I'm looking. See the definition? No abs yet, but I'm seeing a little definition. Oh, that's the body update. I feel like the, my lower stomach is kind of going down. Also, last week I was on my period, so that I could have just been bloated. Because um, I do get really bloated on my period. But, yeah. So, we're going to go do weigh-ins, and let's see how much I weigh. Oh, my gosh. No way. I'm 138. I'm in the 30s. Oh, my God. The light is way too bright, you guys. I need to, like, move over here. Um, That's exciting. So, I am going to eat my regular breakfast that I always eat. The eggs with avocado, jalapeno, salsa. I'm going to eat my regular breakfast, and I'll tune in later for... If I'm having anything different for lunch, I'll tune in. Honestly speaking, I don't think Nick would be the perfect guy to ask. He's literally the only one who I know of and his number right now. 
So I just got done at the gym. Here's a little grocery haul. I got these again, some pork rinds. These are great for keto. I'll go ahead and show you the macros. Really, really great for keto. Um, yeah, I, I've made nachos with these before, like keto nachos, and it actually turned out really good. So I got two different flavors. Um, I got this rotisserie chicken, buffalo chicken salad, I'm sorry, and they make this with the rotisserie chicken um, in Food Lion, so that's so good, I've had that before. Foil, this is only if I'm craving something sweet, um, but I'm not on my period anymore, so I really don't have to worry about that. Trash bags, avocados, beef pinwheel steak, whole milk cottage cheese, I usually just add like two packs of... Um, Trivia or Splenda, and um, it's like a little dessert. I don't know. And then I have some flavored waters. I got a lot of vegetables, just like green beans, broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts. I know those look like potatoes, but I promise they're Brussels sprouts. I wish they were potatoes and spinach. And I got all of this for 48 bucks. I think that's a really good deal. So I'm going to make dinner, and I'm going to bed. Hey guys, good morning. <clears throat> I put up some shelves yesterday and could I have enough mirrors in this beauty room? I have three. Um, I just have not had a good morning at all. I'm just so stressed out about a lot of stuff and I hate to get emotional and I hate to complain about anything because I know that there's people in this world that have less and I should be grateful that I have food in the fridge and a roof over my head but I don't want anyone to think that my life is like fine and dandy every single day. Granted I'm a really strong person but there's a lot I'm stressed out about and there's a lot that I'm thinking about you know with work and stuff like that. I'm just so stressed out. I'm so stressed out. And like the only thing that I want to do is like be with my family. And it's really hard to be so far away from my family sometimes. And like I don't mind being alone like by myself. Obviously I live by myself. I do everything by myself. You know and... I have, you know, one of my best friends, Scarlett, that I hang out with, and it's always a happy time with her, you know, but there's just, like, it comes a to a point where, like, I miss my family so much, and granted, I'll see them in, like, a week and a half, <coughs> or, like, two weeks, but, um, I don't know, I woke up this morning, like, so sad about, like, a lot of stuff, and, um, yeah, so I just ate breakfast, and, uh, I just feel like the only thing that would make me happy today is, like, going to the gym and just, like, taking my stress out on the weights and stuff like that. <laughs> I never cried. It's, like, I feel so, like, crazy, like, at home just, like, crying by myself. But it's just been really tough these past couple of weeks and like this past month but I, everything's gonna get better <clears throat> there's this quote that I think about and it's basically it says there was you know I used to dream of what I have now like before and I've been through so much and I've worked really hard to get to where I am now I just I'm fucking stressed right now so I'm ready to just like have a good rest of my day and go to the gym and look on the bright side of things and we're crying <laughs> but I just wanted to update you guys and um I'm having something different for lunch later so I'll show you that Bye. hello everyone I'm back to business um I'm feeling a lot better after I like collected myself and just thought about what I should be grateful for and everything I should be grateful for and just look on the bright side of things. So, and I'm not PMSing by the way, I just got off my period, so it's definitely not that. Um, I'm going to make some lunch. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having. 
So this is what I'm having for lunch. I'm having these bacon wrapped chicken breasts um, stuffed with jalapeno cream cheese. I love these. Like I've been eating them for so long. Here are the macros. And obviously I only have one piece of chicken. I'm not gonna eat two big old pieces of chicken. And then as a side, I'm gonna have the flavorful steakhouse green beans. Here are the macros. A little high in carb, I just noticed that, but we'll be okay for today. I'll keep it low carb for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm having. The, these chickens take a while to um, cook, like an hour. So I'll show you the finished product when it's all done. So originally I signed a contract with Maverick Media and Penn Beach Media. Maverick Media was the local call. Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. It's hump day eve. Um, I'm kind of in a rush today just because I took forever to get ready. It's new. <laughs> and I'm going to eat one of these when I get to Scarlet's house. Um, the macros are 5 grams of fat, 8 grams of carbs. So this is a little high in carb. I don't eat these every day, but today I'm eating it because I'm in a rush. So I'll keep you guys updated if I eat anything else like if we go to lunch or something I can show you what I eat when I'm out because usually I can find anything to eat at any restaurant that's keto approved so Peace. hello everyone I'm in I'm at home clipping ponytail is out um I'm currently eating breakfast for lunch you know how I said I wasn't gonna drink this week well I'm about to go wine tasting I told myself well, I'm going to like a tasting room. I told myself I'm only going to have two glasses. I shouldn't be drinking wine at all, honestly, but I'm only going to have two glasses. Um, and yeah, this week has been pretty good regarding cardio. And I know I said I was going to get a gym membership at the other gym like a couple days ago. I think on Tuesday I said I was going to do that, but I'm actually going tomorrow. So I'm going tomorrow. Hopefully I'll do legs. And yeah. And I'm going to a haunted house tomorrow, so I'm really excited. It's like two hours away. And also, I wanted to clarify, I'm not vlogging everything I eat every single day. Like, I think I did only one full day of eating, and that was like the first day, um, day one of my transformation. The only time I do vlog is, like, vlog my, vlog my food is when... I'm eating something different because I usually try to stick to eating the same thing um, every day. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, she only ate once or she only ate twice that day. No, your girl eats a lot, trust me. Um, but I'm not vlogging everything I eat. I'm just vlogging like the different stuff, the little snacks I eat, what I'm out to eat, stuff like that. Just wanted to clarify. Hey guys, so I cheated on my diet. I had, like, I had uh, probably, like, three drinks, um, which was my limit. Like, three drinks was it. Um, and I had sushi. I told myself I wasn't going to cheat this week. You, like, I've said this before. Usually on keto, I don't like to cheat the first three weeks. And... I cheated last week because I had a cupcake and alcohol, and this week I had alcohol and sushi. So, yeah. I'm disappointed. But I'm just going to get back on track tomorrow, and I'm going to consider this a cheap night. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym during the day, which is something I rarely do. And then go to the haunted house. So I'm going to call it a night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi everyone. It is not. I'm so sweaty. Oh my gosh. My face is like 
very shiny the shiny <laughs> um, I just got back from the gym that is my new gym that I am going to which I'm really excited about uh, it's I've been there before like I've worked out there before um, so like I already knew it was a super badass gym that was what I was missing. Like I needed to be in a hardcore gym. And like right when I walked in, I was like, I want to work out right now. Like I just was going to sign up for a membership and then leave and maybe come back later or something. But like right then and there, I was like, no, 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 I'm going to work out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm home now about to get some work done. And then, uh, yeah, Scarlett's coming over and what else? I'm gonna get ready because we're going to a haunted house later or like some haunted something. We're doing some haunted. Um, but yeah, I ate my normal breakfast. I'm about to eat lunch. I'll probably just have like the burger patties I always get um, that I always eat with some green beans. And yeah, but I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> got my life together um <laughs> I look a mess so I went out last night I did drink alcohol but I didn't eat bad I will say that I did not eat bad granted alcohol I shouldn't be having on keto honestly I shouldn't be drinking in general like I feel like I've been drinking every weekend almost it seems like um but uh yeah I told myself I'm not gonna drink until Halloween so look at that <laughs> so yeah we'll see I said that last week <laughs> but anyways so uh yeah I have a little vitamin strip haul and we're gonna do a little taste test yeah I'm going to the fair later and I want to get this vlog up for you guys like before I go to the fair um because I want to get the vlog up on Sunday so I might vlog later I might not but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to eat so this is my little haul. So I went to vitamin shop. I got a bang because that's a necessity. My dad um, told me about this drink, the Keto Punch. Here are the macros. So I'm excited to try this. Um, and then I'm gonna have one of these enchiladas. I've had this same brand, but with like the pizza. Here are the macros. The enchilada is four gram of carb and 10 grams of fat 20 grams of protein so these are keto approved yay i haven't had the enchilada well, actually that's a lie i have had the enchiladas before but just not these like flavors so yeah i'm about to eat this and we're gonna try it so we're doing a little taste test on the enchiladas i'm having it with the side of green beans by the way the green beans that i've been eating cheers Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really good. Uh, I love finding new keto discoveries. I don't know, new keto meals, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I think I'm either going to the fair or Scarewinds tonight. Hopefully Scarewinds, I've never been. Um, but yeah, so I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. document what I eat. 